I'm excited about today's video. I'm gonna be doing my first product review and it's on the Dyson Airwrap. I have the full set in front of me and I'm gonna be doing my regular classic blow dry but exclusively with the Dyson Airwrap. I've already shampooed and conditioned my hair. The next step is to apply a little bit of styling product. So I'm gonna be using my volumizing spray from Aveda and I'm gonna spray that all over my head. Now that I've applied the product to my hair, I need to choose the attachment for the air wrap. The air wrap does recommend that you don't blow dry or style your hair when it's completely dry, but they also don't want you to style your hair when it's fully wet either. So my hair towel dried is about 70% dry. I'm going to choose my attachments. So one of the attachments for Dyson is just a rough dry tool. Because my hair is already pretty much dried, that's 70%, I don't need to use this. And then there's also a round brush sort of attachment. If I wanted to have a really voluminous blow dry, I could use this, which I don't, so I'm also not gonna use that. And then there's three different brush heads. Because I'm gonna be doing a wrap dry in the back of my head, I need to think of how long my hair is versus how long the surface area of the brush. So both of these brushes are too big in surface area to straighten my hair the way I want. So I'm gonna choose to use the smallest one. I'm gonna use this one first. I'm gonna wrap dry the back of my head and then I'm gonna move into the other styling brushes where these ones, that's where I'm really excited to see how they're gonna style my hair. Because I've never used this tool before, I should also mention I'm gonna play around with the setting. There are three speed settings and then there's also three temperature controls or two temperature controls. I'm gonna use the, the hottest one and then the fastest speed setting because why not see how fast this thing can work also. So the underneath of my hair is now dry and I'm gonna move on to the sides and top. Before I do that, I'm gonna section away the top because it's gonna make me easier. Because the way that this tool works is by sucking the hair up around the barrel. So I'm going to make sure that my sections are nice and clean so that more of my hair doesn't get sucked up than what I want. Okay, so this is the test. Because there's a little bit of dryness in the hair, I wanna see if the Dyson Airwrap is still really finicky and maybe I have to wet that area down. I'm not sure, so let's try. The other thing is there's arrows on the barrel, so telling me which way the hair is gonna curl. I like to curl my hair forward, so I'm gonna use this one. There's also different sizes. So if I wanna have something larger, I can use this size here, but I wanna see how curly I can actually get my hair. So I'm gonna use this one. Okay, so my first one, that's pretty curly. I actually like it, but it is actually pretty hot against my ear. So what I might do is lower the heat temperature, just for myself, and then move on towards the back. Okay, so I'm two sections in, and I can see that if I don't have my hair combed out fully beforehand, what I can end up with is the ends not being fully formed. So I'm gonna see if I can refine using the air wrap again. And I can, so that's nice to know. Okay, so quick learning curve. I do think it's important that you take your section and that you comb it out first with your comb. So is this faster than using a round brush? and more accurate. So far, I'm gonna say, working on yourself, I think so. Okay, and then I'm gonna turn it off. 
pull the hair out so that, that way it kind of sets. And then take my next section. I think that's really the key with this Dyson air wrap is just to make sure that you have the tools that you need in addition to the air wrap. So clips are gonna really help you and also combing your hair. Okay, so the hairstylist in me is kind of wondering what's happening right at the very back here. So I'm actually gonna take a look using my mirror. And what I'll see is I'm able to curl in through here, but I'm not able to curl underneath. So maybe next time going forward, I just need to curl the bottom in the nape first. But the other thing is most people don't look at the back of your head. So I'd say that as long as 70% of it looks good, especially the front, you're okay. So, so far Dyson Air Wrap, I do like you as a tool. Now I'm gonna go on to the opposite side. So what that means is if I continue with this tool, it's gonna comb away or blow the hair away from my face. If I want my hairstyle to look symmetrical, I'm going to switch to the opposite uh, side of the air wrap. So that'll come out and this one comes in. And once more, sectioning away my next section. And then from what I've learned, let's comb it through. But I have to say, so far, I actually really think that this is pretty fun. If I had to travel with it, it might be a little bit annoying because you'd have to take your attachments. But I think once you know which attachments you're regularly gonna use, it'd probably be quite easy to travel with. And I think this is where, if you had extremely curly hair, you might find it very challenging. Because keep in mind, this doesn't really have tension. Tension is important to change hair. Because this only uses air, if you have really curly hair and you're trying to straighten it, I don't think this tool is gonna work. Or maybe not this attachment. So when I would normally be doing my hair, I would at this point sort of fluff it out to see if everything is dry. And I can honestly say that this tool is making my hair very curly. Probably curlier than I anticipated. So let's move on to the top. As I work through the top, I know I'm gonna come across uh, horizontally and I'm probably going to use my right arm. So I need to think of the attachment that's going to curl the hair backward. So I'm gonna stay with the same attachment that I've used on the left side of my head. And I'm hoping Normally when you take your section size, you wanna make sure that it's no larger than the barrel. And so that's no larger, and it's also not deeper than the diameter. So this should dry pretty quickly. Just for extra safety, I'm gonna clip the remaining hair out of the way, and I'm gonna comb through this hair as well. What I should say, when you see me bobbling it back and forth, what I'm looking for is to see if I can change sort of the tension on the hair, which when I'm looking at the hair that I've curled, I haven't been able to correct the tension in through the center. So I'm actually gonna comb that forward just a little bit more and try one more time. Cause I want to, in this middle piece, get a little bit more tension. I will say what I'm noticing is some of the hair does slip off the barrel. So you wanna make sure that your sections aren't too big. And if you had a lot of hair, I think it would be a little bit tricky. I think because I have short hair, this has actually been pretty easy for me. Now, given that that sort of separated, what I might do is section my hair off into two along the top because I anticipate that all of this hair is gonna fall off the barrel. Okay, so you can see I've started to hold onto the top and what I am noticing is by holding it here, I know that I can keep the hair completely on the barrel. My tip for all of you using an air wrap is make sure your sections are pretty small. You can't rush it or else you're gonna have wet spots and then your blow dry won't last. So there's these little pieces underneath, again, because I would be fussy about that with a regular blow dry for myself. So I'm gonna see if I can capture that. OK, 
Okay, so my second time through, I was. I was able to sort of adjust where I was holding the air wrap and I was able to capture those little baby hairs. And then along the front, this is usually where I actually take this piece going forward. Yes, and that's gonna go back. So for the last piece in the very front, I will have to change the attachment. Just to reiterate, I am going to be combing this hair or using the air wrap that's gonna be directing the hair backward. Okay, my last section going backward and then I'm gonna switch. Now this process has been pretty fast, but what I, what I would say is I can't flip my head upside down during any of this process. So I do have a little bit of uh, strain in my shoulders. So I think it is something that you wanna make sure that you have mapped out your sections so it doesn't take you too long. I've got one more section of hair to curl and for this piece I wanna curl it coming forward. So I have to change my attachment for that. And I also need to consider where the attachment or the barrel needs to be in uh, junction with my hairline. Because if I hold it here, it's gonna straighten my hair forward, but I actually want some root lift. So I'm gonna comb my hair back, and we'll see how this works without it sucking up what it's already done. And I'm gonna start with it way back here so that when I add the tool, Hopefully I get the desired amount of root lift. So I'm gonna place it right on top, turn it on, and hope, oh, there we go. Yeah, it worked. And then letting it cool. And I'd say that was pretty quick. I think that's maybe been 20 minutes of me blow drying my hair. Normally I rough dry my hair and then I use either a flat iron curl or a curling iron, but this looks like it's made my hair pretty curly, which wow, this is really curly. <laughs> and then I'm gonna just form it into place how I would normally. And I may be I'm a little curlier than normal, but 20 minutes and that's my blow dry with the Dyson Air Wrap. My final review is I definitely think this is easier than round brushing your hair, holding a blow dryer and a brush. However, I will say I think you need to have either a straighter hair type or hair that isn't too curly along the root. My hair is naturally curly, but it straightens pretty easy because it's baby fine. So if you had a very um, curly hair type, you're not gonna get the tension, at least from this attachment, that you're going to need. Also, with the brush attachment, because it's so big, you would have to take tiny, tiny sections in order to get the tension or the effect that you want on hair. So, my review on the Dyson Air Wrap is, I think if you are looking for something that you can use at home, it's excellent. In the salon, it's definitely not gonna replace my blow dryer and round brush because I know that I can get the right tension on it. But for myself, for everyday use, I have to say, I think this could be quite a fun tool and I like how quickly it worked. I didn't at any point need to turn my hands upside down, so there wasn't too much pressure on my neck and shoulders. So let me know what you think. If you've used a Dyson Airwrap, please let me know in the comments below. And if there's any other tool that you would love to see reviewed, I'd love to hear about it.